Hey guys, I decided to do one more quick video on how to contour the bone marrow. I definitely didn't want anyone to be manually contouring this entire structure. So if you look at that website I gave you, econtour.org, you can see how they do it. And we're basically going to use that website as our atlas, okay? If you look at that, they are basically including everything, the borders for their bone marrow contour, if you look superiorly, it basically ends where the pelvic bone ends superiorly, and then inferiorly, same thing. As soon as these pelvic bones end, their bone marrow contour ends. So everything in between, all the bone, they consider bone marrow. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing. So there's an easy way to do that without doing this manually, okay? So the first step is we're gonna use this segmentation wizard, bones. And we're going to use this select VOI box, okay? So I already have mine set up, but basically I have the top border, the superior border. Oh, it looks uh, pretty close. So basically this this pubic, this pelvic bone right here ends about here, so I'm going to move that down just a hair and uh, and match that, okay? So that's my superior border, inferior border, right where those end is where my inferior border is. Everything else I want to include, okay? So once you have that BOI box set up, you can hit apply. If we look at our contour here, see it gets bone, which is good. You see all these holes inside of bone? Basically the density is lower there, so it's not, that tool is not picking that up. But that's actually what we want to be, have contoured, right? The bone marrow, the inside of the bones is what we actually want to protect and have contoured. So we really need to get rid of these holes. And then also due to the density, it's picking up this contrast in the bowel. Okay, so we want to get rid of that. So the first thing we want to do after using this tool is, is get rid of this bowel. So what I'm going to do is um, scroll through here and I just want to make sure all of this bowel never connects with my actual bone here. So I'm just following this bowel, looking at all these little spots of bowel, and does any of it ever touch or connect with the pelvic bones? So I actually don't think it does. So I don't think I need to edit anything, but, it, but if it did, I would just, you know, start erasing those few parts that did touch, okay? But once you get all, rid of all that bowel, I can come here to post-processing. I'm gonna turn all my tools off, so all these are unchecked except for extraction, and keep the selected parts. And I have 3D selected down here. So basically, I'm gonna select my bone, because I know all of my bone is connected, you know, three-dimensionally. If you look at this as a 3D volume, it's all going to be connected, um, and hopefully it's not touching the bowel at all. And, I, and we scrolled through, so I don't think it is. So I'm going to just click inside of that bone, click apply, all right, and there we go. So no, none of that bowel was connected. It got rid of all that bowel, and now we're just left with our bones, right? But we still want to get rid of all these holes in our bone. You could play with these post-processing settings. There probably is a way to do it with just this. Um, actually, I'm pretty confident there is. But I'm gonna, I just think it's easier to do it a little bit different way. Um, what I usually do is I just come here to my margin for structure. And in order to get rid of all those holes, I'm going to just expand my structure by 1cm. Okay, and when you do that, it's basically expanding into those holes and it gets rid of them, right? So now we got a little bit more continuous of a structure. That's good. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my brush and anywhere I see holes left behind, I want to get rid of those. And especially any really teeny tiny ones. Sometimes there's just some really little ones like that little guy. I'm just going to get rid of that guy. And again, you could go back to post-processing and get rid of these super easy, but usually there's not too many. And uh, if you just scroll through real quick, you can get rid of them fairly quickly with the brush. That looks pretty good. Now if we come back here to margin, I'm going to create an inner margin. 
same one cm click apply basically is going to expand inside so undo that margin but now look all those holes are gone we have a very nice continuous contour that looks very very similar to how e contour has it all right so just a really quick uh, tutorial on how to how to contour bone marrow or you can do ribs like this or you know anything you're trying to contour in bulk like that um, you can follow the same general process.